Hey everyone! So today I'm going to show you how to make an animated loading bar. I'm using a MacBook Pro 15 inch and Photoshop CS3, but what I'm showing you will work in Photoshop CS4 and any operating system. So you first want to start by opening Photoshop and creating a new document. So this is just Command N or File New. You can call it Animated Loading Bar. And I've got my settings as 500 for the width, 400 for the height. Keep the resolution at 72. Um, and make sure these are all pixels and pixels per inch. And RGB color and have the background as white. And then just hit OK. So here's your loading bar for now. Before we continue, I want to explain how animations work. Each object on the animation, specifically those that move, need to have their own layer in the layer panel over here. We want our background for the loading bar to be white, so for now we can just leave it as, um, as it is for now. So come down and click on create a new layer, and we'll just rename it to color. Now, on the color layer we want to have, this will be the bar that goes across as the page loads. So go and select the gradient tool over here. If you can't see it straight away, it might be the paint bucket tool. So just hold down and select gradient tool and you're on your way. I'm going to use this gradient over here, but as you can see, there are lots of gradients you can use. You can also make your own gradient, but for now I'm just going to use this one. And I have the linear gradient selected and the other settings are normal. The opacity is 100% and I have dither and transparency selected. So go to your animated loading bar and ha create a diagonal effect from the top left to the bottom right. This will just create a moving sort of effect which you'll see once the bar is animated. So you can draw the diagonal line and then release and you'll get the color that goes across. Now we'll go and create a new layer and this will be our text layer. So click on the text tool over here. I have mine, um, I've chosen mine to be centered text over here. And I'm going to click roughly in the middle and type loading. Then just realign it so that it's where you want it to be. Now to do the animation steps. If you don't see your animation window straight away, just go down to window, down to animation, and it will pop out. So for animations, each different frame or each different thing that happens in the animation is done in different frames. And um, the frame window over here will show what's going to happen after a specific amount of time. The time we're going to be using for today is zero seconds, but if you want to um, make it longer, shorter, have it you know take a longer time to load, you can select different second amounts here or click on other. So have your animation set up like this so far. Create a new frame and then go back and select the first frame and make sure you've got the color layer selected. Now you need to drag the color layer all the way across so that it's on the left. Drag it to around here and make sure that on the top and bottom it's not cut off and that it's all level and then use the right arrow key just to push it over to the left a little bit. This is so that when it swoops back on, it has a really good, really strong effect. Now go to your second frame and just place the color layer or the background back into place. To create the animation, there are two ways. You can click on the first layer, create a new layer, and um, just maybe tap the right, um, right arrow key two or three times so that it's a little visible. However, if you have to do this for every single frame going across, it will take a long time. So I recommend tweening. Tweening is where you select both the layers by holding down shift and selecting the other layer. Going over here to the three bars with the arrow and select tween. Tween basically creates frames between the two frames that you've selected and it it looks for the similarities and differences between the frames and moves them or like let's say a ball is on the top in one frame and on the bottom in another then in between it'll have the ball moving towards the bottom 
in our frame, it, er, in our animation, the color layer or the color bar will move across the page from not visible at all to totally visible. So I'm going to add in 60 frames. Make sure all layers are selected, otherwise you might have missing text or a missing background. And the parameters can be um, all ticked. And then hit OK. As you can see, it's just created a whole bunch of other frames. You don't have to use the between layer, but or the tween layer, but if you do do this yourself, it will take a long time. Now to see your finished effect, just press play over here. Normally, this will just continue running and it won't stay on the loading bar. If you want it to stay on or like this for longer, you can come individually here and on the zero seconds and set it to 10 seconds. Or if you want, you can set it to 15 or any other time. If in the middle you want to worry the person who's visiting your site and make it look like it's paused in a certain area, you can just go in and click instead of zero seconds, maybe five. And let's do it over here as well. And now let's see what it looks like. So I personally find the five seconds a little too long. But if that is the kind of effect you want to do, you can leave it like that. You can change it to uh, less time, so it's only one or two seconds. To save your file, go to File, Save for Web and Devices. This is very important because you want to save your file as a GIF. That's a .gif file. And if you don't uh, use Save for Web and Devices, it won't work. You don't need to change any of the settings on here. And then just click on Save. Type in the title and then choose save. Make sure it has this extension, this .gif extension on the end. And then click save. You're now done with it. You can upload it to wherever you want. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please leave them in the comment area below and I promise to get to them as soon as possible. And if you're feeling super awesome, you'll subscribe to my channel. Thank you and bye.